Alright boys, let's get it. Let's pay this truck off. Let's go. Excited. See the drip, yeah, fit it up. Zero dollars, baby. Let's get it paid off. 2014 F-150. Get away from here, guys. You can't see my account number. There you have it, boys. Feels kind of good. Uh, here's a little intro of my truck. Uh, check it out, guys. All right, guys. There she is, boys. My line busy, take no calls. Feels like a hundred no flaws. Snakes in the grass, cut those off. Yo, squad, shady, my bros rock. No brakes, we go, 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 go. No shade, that's a no, no, no sleep, me, mo, mo, mo. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car in the giddy up. All right, guys. What we have here is my truck guys we're gonna go run some laps over there right now <clears throat> before we go i'm gonna do a quick review on the outside exterior of it uh this is my four 2014 f-150 stx sport package it has a v6 unfortunately 3.7 liter uh, with a 306 horsepower i believe it's a two-wheel drive it is not a four by four it's n it's uh not a va that's what's really that's what i don't like about this truck either way Check it out, it has 18 inch rims. Um, tires are a little bad. Body is in decent shape. It has some dents, okay, I cracked this right here. Um, people who know me knows what happened that day. Whoever was there with me knows what happened here and here, guys. So, all right, guys, so it is in good condition. It has some scratches, but I really don't care because, I mean, check it out. Those are some really, really good things yeah i really don't care about those scratches it's a truck i've used it for for a lot of stuff hauling on the ranch i've used it for a lot of stuff off-roading or whatever even though it's not intended to anyways we got the logos in the back i did change these to the smoked um tail lights it's very shiny guys still very it's it's very shiny still it's it has the tuxedo black i picked this truck up in new Braunfels, texas it's the flex you can put flex fuel in there I've never done that. Got the hitch back here. I do haul a lot of stuff on this truck. Like the boat. Uh, what else? Let's see here. Ooh, shiny. You like the truck still? After how many years? After six years, you still love the truck, Kerry? I love the truck. All right, guys. Yeah. What? Oh, no, Where? That's a beat. Where? That's a beat. Ah! All right, guys, let me just show you all what kind of shape this body is in. Right here, we got some deep scratches in here. I, I do remember why these, how these got here. Uh, I put my bike here, and the, the handlebars kept rubbing against this thing. This is what happened. That sucks. You can buff these out. I don't know. These are, like, minor cosmetic scratches. I really don't care. Um, pretty good shape from the outside still. It's got the 18-inch wheels. Wait, let me double check. Oh, snap. My bad. Check that out, guys. We're rolling on 20s, boys. These are the Open Country Toyo All Terrain 2. All Terrain 2 tires. Um, I already have two years with them. Really good tires. I really recommend those tires. But anyways, this this body is. See these scratches right here? These are these are minor cosmetic scratches right here, guys. Uh, nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. These can buff out real quick. Let's see up in the top here. Very beautiful truck still, guys. Uh, I think I think I hit something there. I, I'm not too sure if it was me or my girlfriend. I was pretty pretty sure it was my girlfriend. She never told me. Oh, one more thing. Check it out, guys. I forgot to mention this. Check it out. As you can see right there, looks like someone backed the truck up on something. All right, guys. I did not find out about that until months after it passed. Uh, after I really took a look at it and my girlfriend said she had backed up into a trailer or something like that. So that sucks. She didn't tell me. She knew I was going to get pissed. It's a little foggy. All in all, guys, it is a very good truck still, guys. Very good truck. Let's check out the inside. Um, just a regular door panel. Alright, check it out, guys. Steering wheel. Um... I don't know if you can see it, it ha it's already all used up. You can see how, it, how used up it is. After six years, you'd expect that. I've seen worse. The dash. This truck has been outside in the sun for a while. The dash is pretty, in pretty good shape. 
interior, pretty good shape. Very good shape. Seats, uh, we did have some seat covers, but they ended up ripping. I believe last year we took them off, so this these have been without without a without a seat cover for about a year. They're holding up, but I'm planning on buying some. If you have any recommendations, put them down in the comments. Still pretty stock. Haven't changed anything on, in this truck, except I did add one thing. Oh, and this truck has 150,000 miles, guys. 159k, boys. Still running strong. Still running strong guys. I have had zero problems with the engine. Zero problems with the engine. Um, back here, ton of space. I can easily, easily lay down here, sleep here, um, open this, open these up and camp out or whatever you wanna do back here. I don't know what, what you might do. My only upgrade was, this guy's check it out. But damn, check it out boys. I got two subs, like two 12 inch subs, got the, the box right here ordered from Amazon. Uh, the 212s, two MTX audio going back there. If you're an F-150 uh, guy, you should know about this latch back here. Just pull, pull it and it opens. I have the amp back there hooked up to the wall of the truck. So if you want to see more into this, just let me know. I'll do a video on it if you want to know. Just drop them down in the comments. And if you want to see how I installed the amp back there, it's a five channel amp. So that is going to be the inside of this truck, guys. Like I was saying, this is a really good truck still. For it being six years old, I'm not going to trade this truck in. I do plan to keep it for a while. I really don't need a, a another out alone. I'm just not that type of person, guys. So I am going to enjoy this paid off truck. Uh, stick around for the video. I'm going to explain more in depth about my loan, about the loan. Why not to get an out loan? When to get an out loan? Is it a dumb investment? Is it a dead investment? Out loans, you know how they are. If you want to see more, uh, stick around for the video. I'll show you everything I went through. Maybe you can take something out of this video. Maybe maybe you will. Maybe you're looking into buying a car or, or something like that. So stick around for the video, guys. Let's go. All right, guys. So I finally paid off my truck. How does it feel? It feels weird. It feels... It feels good in a way towards I don't have that uh, I don't have that weight on my shoulder I'm constantly there. Well, if if you have a payment, you know how I feel. So, so what I'm gonna talk about is how long it took, the goods and the bad of the loan itself. Okay. Anyways, guys, it was it was 2014. I was driving a 2006, I believe, G6 Red. Um, it was giving me all sorts of problems. I had to change the alternator. It, it, it started overheating. All the, all those kinds of things. So. We were driving to New Braunfels once and we decided just to stop and look at, at a New Braunfels dealership, a Ford dealership and my girlfriend, which well, is over there laughing. But this is how it goes. I go one way and she goes another way. Um, she ends up going with a dealer and I, I did not know this. They were running her, they were doing something and she comes back and tells me uh, we got approved for this truck or whatever. So I'm like, uh, I was, I was like, which one? I, I went, and, uh, I went and looked at it, and it was the, it was the, the newest truck there. It was a 2014 uh, Ford F-150 Sport Package STX. Uh, keep in mind, it is a 3.7 two-wheel drive. So, in my mind, um, in my mind, I had already planned, planned this for my cars. I like to save up and pay cash for my cars. I don't like to be in debt. So, anyways. We look at the truck, it is a beautiful truck, zero miles on it, everything is brand new. My girlfriend, she w she decides to go for it and I'm more of the, hey, you need to wait, you, you need to have patience, you need to, you need to figure out where we're going with our finances, uh, what are we going to be doing in a year, uh, two years, are our jobs stable enough to afford a $30,000 um, loan? I mean, that's ridiculous. We, we were both making about combined we were both making about 50 to 60 thousand tops that's overtime and everything no how much were we making like 30 or 40. all right so going into a thousand a thirty thousand dollar um loan me only working her going to school that is a horrible decision guys it okay i don't know how we got there but we got there we got approved so in my mind, I was like, whatever happens, happens. I mean, it doesn't bother me. I mean, whatever. I was young at the time. I was like, ah, whatever. If we can't afford it along the way, whatever, just give it back. That was my mindset, okay? Her mindset was, ah, we got approved. Uh, yeah, we, we have a, a nice truck. 
not knowing every month you have to give $600 of your income on a truck. Okay, that was my like thought to like you cannot go into this loan with this income. I mean, you just cannot afford it, okay? So you just can't afford things like that. That was that was in my mind. Anyways, we went for it. Uh, we drove it home. Uh, I was excited, but then after a while, it sunk in, guys. If you you know this feeling. If you buy something new, this feeling once it settles down, okay? There, there's excitement. Um, there was excitement like anything new you buy, and then after a while, it just wears out. That's just how it is. Okay, it wore out, whatever. So that that was the whole buying situation. Was it a smart buy? Hell no, that was not a smart buy. And I don't, I do not recommend this to anyone who is like, who is barely on the track of stabilizing yourself and your finances or whatever it is. I do not recommend going into it, especially an auto loan. The, depre the depreciation value of those cars goes out the window. Once you drive that, that car out the lot, it decreases whether you like it or not. So, and also another thing is if you go into a car lot and they tell you all this, yes, you're approved. Um, just get in here, okay? The, the guy just wants to sell a car. He needs to make his money. He's, he's either gonna run your credit through a bunch of banks. The more banks he runs your credit through, the, your credit is gonna plummet. So he'll, he'll tell you, yes, you're approved, whatever. Don't fall for that, guys. Um, make your research before you even think about buying a car. What, what type of car it is, what engine it has, are the parts affordable? Are you gonna be able to afford it uh, one to five years down the line? Because that's the typical range of the outer loan. Ours was a six year, 72 month uh, loan. So keep that in mind before you even buy a car. Okay, another thing guys I wanted to touch up on. Was it a smart buy? Like I said, hell no, it was, it was not a smart buy. I was making $30,000, $30,000, $40,000 in the oil fields, okay? My, my girlfriend at the time, I mean, my girlfriend was <laughs> my girlfriend was not working. She was going to school, but we had in mind that once she finished, she would help out with the income. That was a year later. So what I'm trying to say is, we were basically working for the truck payment and the rent, and we were so tight it was not even funny, guys. I see people everywhere doing the same thing we did. They have a $40,000 truck, a $30,000 truck, and the mortgage, aside from bills and everything, and they're basically just working just so they can pay off the, the cars that they're gonna pay off in eventually if the economy stays stable like you're seeing today. Some people lost their job, jobs or whatever, but they're basically paying for a car that's just sitting there that's just sitting there in their driveway, they can show off or, or whatever. At that little moment, it might have brought a little, a little bit of happiness, but once it settles down, like I said, it passes. So you're literally working off to pay your cars. Guys, that is not the way to do it. Obviously, the way to do it, it, it sounds easy, but you have to have a lot of patience, guys. For me, I have patience. My girlfriend does not have patience. I would have waited, saved up some money, bought a $10,000 truck, use that until we saved up our money and we had a set goal uh, amount of money in the bank then we would have applied for an auto loan that is a, a reasonable way to do to go by and get an auto loan that's that's my opinion um like it if like it if you agree with me on that or just comment on the on the video um if you don't agree so like i was saying most people get into auto auto the auto i was gonna say Auto loans and they get stuck. They get stuck in life, just paying that, paying their their cars, their and arguing about um, their finances when they really don't need a car loan. They really don't need that that car, that thirty thousand dollar car, five hundred, six hundred dollar payment um, outside their their driveway, just sitting there. So people get frustrated. They get frustrated because they can't do this. They can't do that. And that's when problems arise. Uh, once those problems arise, um, you gotta look into yourself and see if you're making all the right de decisions on your financial problems. So that's when uh, you need to start doing your research. I've actually worked with, with people in the oil field that have $100,000 in their bank and they're driving a Honda Civic, a shitty Honda Civic. They have that money and they're driving a piece of shit car. 
Why? Because they know a car is a dead investment, guys. So look into where your money's going. If you're deep into debt with the auto auto section of finances, you're in the wrong place. You have to switch your mindset, um, adjust it or, or whatever you wanna say, because you're gonna be in a real big hole and never you're never gonna get out of it. So I consider myself having common sense and I'm pretty sure you have common sense. You're not gonna be um, taking out a, a $50,000 vehicle when you make $100,000 a year. That's basically half your salary. That's if you don't have a mortgage, bills, another vehicle because I know your wife or what your girlfriend's gonna want a vehicle. Still, so it adds up guys. Anyways, um, keep that in mind, like I'm saying. What I basically wanna say guys is investing in a car is a dead ass investment guys. If you have money, go for it. I'm just saying get a car that fits your income. I just don't wanna see my people struggle anymore due to a a car loan, uh, cars they get it invested in. That's my opinion, like it if you like my opinion. If you don't, don't give it a thumbs down, give it a like anyways. So like I was saying about the about your income, if you um, buy a car that suits your income, say about 10% of your income, 20% is the highest I would go. Say if you make 100,000 a year, um, buy yourself a $10,000 truck car. Trust me, there's plenty of them right now okay so next part of the video is my future plans for all right guys my girlfriend's just telling me she's she wants to get another car I'm, why am i even doing this video like we're not getting a car anytime soon i plan to keep my truck uh, maintain it do all the the monthly services to it as much as i can breakdowns are inevitable so you gotta you gotta have money for that uh, you gotta have money for oil changes oil changes are not cheap in trucks for it but my truck I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it for as long as I can. All right guys, so that is going to be it for the video. I mean, if you have any questions on how we did it to, I mean, take vacations, annually vacations, uh, summer vacations, winter vacations, um, while still going to school, while my wife, while my girlfriend go, while my girlfriend going to school, me working, how we did it financially. If you wanna know more, just comment, I'll gladly make a video. Specifically, I'll give you numbers. Like I was saying, uh, give it a like if you have a Ford that's already paid off. If you have a vehicle that's already paid off, guys, my people, let's get it, boys. Drop a comment, uh, give it a like if you have all your cars paid off. Um, your house, no, we're not talking about house. All right, like it if you're a Ford guy. Um, what else can I say? I mean, subscribe to the channel, guys. That's all you gotta do. If you wanna, if you wanna know I mean, how we how we manage our our finances, I know it's a it's a real touchy subject to talk about. No one really wants to talk about it. I really wanna talk about it. I mean, there's so much to learn. We just give in into our temptations. We do not have patience. We give in. I mean, the freaking goddamn commercials are so good. We just wanna get up and go and buy everything we see on TV. But anyways, uh, like it if. <laughs> Like the video, comment if you have a paid off truck, car, whatever. So anyways, guys, that is going to be it for the video. I hope you liked it. It's a little different from fishing and traveling. We are going to be traveling in about a month um, to Denver, I believe. If you want to see that video, stick around, uh, subscribe. So anyways, guys, um, have a good day. Have a good evening. Um, if I don't see you, good night. Let's get it, boys.